Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Thursday, June 2nd. Toyota has unveiled a new home battery pack to provide residential power backup, a product that will compete with the Tesla Powerwall. After Tesla launched the Tesla Energy Division with the Powerwall and Power Pack in 2015, several other automakers tried to get in on the market. Mercedes, Renault, and now Toyota. Toyota says that the system has a capacity of 8.7 kilowatt hours and an output of 5.5 kilowatts. They say the system also works with a bi-directional charger to tap into an electric vehicle battery pack for more energy. Toyota is taking pre-orders for the system, but for now, just in Japan. This is an interesting move for a company that has been actively fighting against the electric vehicle renaissance, especially in their home country. BMW unveiled its next generation X1, its entry-level internal combustion engine vehicle. But alongside it, they introduced the BMW iX1, an electric version. The German automaker says that when the new X1 launches later this year, it'll come with two petrol options, but later it'll be followed by the all-electric BMW iX1 xDrive 30. They didn't disclose the capacity of the battery pack, but they claim between 257 and 272 miles of range. That is based on the generous WLTP standard. Pricing information is expected to be released closer to launch date at the end of the year, but for perspective, the gas version starts at about $35,000 here in the States. So we are anticipating a similar price for the EV after the federal rebate. RIMAC announced that it has closed a $536 million round of funding to accelerate its new role as a high-performance electric component supplier. Over the last years, RIMAC has been best known for its all-electric hypercars, but recently they have become a component supplier, firstly for Aston Martin. Porsche caught wind of the potential of the company, and they invested heavily, to the tune of 45%. They put the Bugatti nameplate under the RIMAC in the process. RIMAC said that the new funding round will be primarily used for the technology division in volume production of electric vehicle components for other OEMs. Ford has announced new investments in electric vehicles, $3.7 billion. Most of the money will go to the production of the all-new Ranger pickup, with other portions going to the new Mustang assembly plant and a new commercial vehicle to be built in Ohio. They also announced plans to accelerate production of the electric transit van and increasing production of the Lightning pickup. The investments announced today come after Ford announced the separation of its EV business from the internal combustion business earlier this year. In today's community comment, Pete Barnes says, Yet another good video. Thanks. I assume most of the tools behind you are for bikes. Wow, puts my garage to shame. Don't worry about your garage. This is also a business investment for me. But you are correct, the tools are for bicycles. Before Quick Charge, I made electric bike videos for a number of years, and I thought it was a nice backdrop for a workshop. Oddly enough, I briefly made a few car videos for Electric Car Conversion Shop, but I wasn't quite as organized back then. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.